All right, so I've gone in and I merged these pieces of wood together because I have what I need now. And I've also added a piece behind here. And you can see I played with that knot effect a little bit more, so I've got a little bit different piece of wood back here. Now, I also went in and I put an outer glow on this. And you can see that once I've done it, it's starting to define this wood and the separation of it pretty nicely. So I'll go ahead and I'll click OK and command S to save. Now, we're going to be putting a window in here, but there's a bit of detail. There's usually a molding where it's beveled on the inside of our file here uh, where the window, the glass window, would go. So I'm going to use my dodge and burn tool for this. So I'm going to get my marquee and my rectangle marquee. I'm going to zoom in and I'll make a bit of a selection just outside the shape of the window opening and I'm going to hit O to my dodge and burn tool and I'm going to burn this so it's a little darker on the inside so I'll set it for midtones I set the exposure to 60 and now if I kind of paint across the top here you'll notice that it starts to darken just a bit so I'm going to hide this selection so it's a little bit more evident and I'll just go around the perimeter like this just to bevel it a bit I'm going to do the same thing with these two panel openings here as well. So I'll get the marquee and I'll drag around one of them and then when it's done I'll just move the selection. Uh, so uh, in the case of this, not too much to do because we have this here. So I'll get my dodge and burn tool and I'll start up the top. You know the top would be, there'd be more of a shadow across the top of where this uh, bevel falls then there would on the sides and the bottom so I'm not going to go over the sides quite as much as I might there so now I'll hit command Z to get my selection back I'll get my marquee and I'm going to move that over to the other side and do the same thing All right, so now we're going to make the glass panel. All right, so we're going to start out with a new layer. And I'm going to get the rectangle marquee. And it's pretty subjective again. I'm making a tall rectangular shape. And I'm going to put a middle value of gray inside of this. And the middle value of gray is really up to you because once we start to burn it with the burn tool and then um, we lighten it with the dodge tool, uh, we'll get essentially what appears to be a tubular shape. So once again, I'll get my dodge and burn tool. Uh, I'll go with uh, the midtones first, and holding my shift key, I'll drag down along the edges a couple of times. And I want a lighter value in the middle, so I'm going to move to highlights, and I'm going to get the dodge tool. I'm making my brush size maybe about uh, 15 with a soft edge. And once again, I'll hold the shift key. Now I'm going to move this over. To the door area. Now I want this to be a lot narrow, so I'm going to scale it in its width. And I want this to repeat across the opening. So in my layer window, I'll command click on the layer and I'll hold down V and the option key copy it. Once I'm done, I'll come back. I've repeated that tubular shape and made a pattern out of it and I put it behind the actual door frame so that now I can put a tint on it to make it look like a blue glass much the same as the uh, sample if you were to look at the PDF that I sent out. So uh, I'm going to make a selection of that layer with those tubular pieces and now I'll put a new layer in and it's pretty subjective, grab a blue that kind of strikes your fancy and I'm going to fill it, deselect 
and I'm going to make sure my move tool so that I can go through my blend modes quickly holding down the shift key and once I've found something I like I will be set all right so I'm going to go with overlay and I'm going to save now the door frame is pretty much the same way you have to look at the sample in a PDF to see how the molding is broken up and not into just one panel. All right, there's an actual doorknob which is here, so that is up to you what color you want to make it as well.